Hey garage heads, welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. The fragile windshield trim on these old toyota trucks is a real pain to remove. Today, I'll show how it's done. I'm using my 1987 two-wheel drive pickup for today's demo. These 84 to 88 trucks and 84 to 89 Forerunners have an eight-piece windshield trim set. First, let's have a look at my 85 4x4, which is missing the windshield trim. I took it off when I painted the truck and I haven't put it back on. You can see there are some uh, big clips on the bottom here going all the way across. On the side here, you can see the clips uh, are embedded into the sealant used to install the windshield. Some of these came off when I removed the trim for painting. There's a broken clip right here covered in primer. On the top, there are more clips. This one's partially broken. Most of them did break. Over on the driver's side, more of them are still intact. So over time, debris and moisture can build up behind the trim and cause rust around the windshield. My truck had this a little bit and I fixed it before it got too bad and ate through the metal. Well, let's go pull the trim off the 87 and see how it looks. I have my panel poppers here to uh, give me more prying surface area than if I was to just use a flathead screwdriver. I need to put these all the way between the back of the trim and the glass. I actually need to get behind the black part, not just behind the chrome part, like this. Now I like to go up and down the trim and push it up a little at a time. You know, just don't get too aggressive and enforce it too much and it should be all right. The side pieces are pretty strong. I should have some pop noises here. There's one. That's what I'm looking for. See, it's uh, starting to come loose down here. Let's uh, focus up here now. Man, it's hanging on. This is a good one. There we go. Getting somewhere now. There it is. The driver's side is free. Once the side is loose, there uh, is enough play here that you could just slide it right out of the corner pieces. It's a good idea to mark these if you're ever gonna put them back on, especially the corner pieces, cause they look similar. The corner pieces just pull right off. It's the exact same process for the passenger side. There's a bit of rust starting on the edge up here, probably from a rock chip that never got repaired. Here's another, but then if you look down the edge here, you'll see the debris that I mentioned earlier, which can hold in moisture and also cause rust. This here is decades of dirt and parking under trees. Here's one of those clips. One side broken. This one's completely intact. The top one's broken. Plastic just gets brittle with age. Not much you can do about that. This little curved piece up here, stuck in the sealant, they usually come off with the corner pieces. I'll do the bottom next. It's pretty easy. Save the top for last since uh, it's the hardest and the easiest to bend. Now this isn't the original windshield from 1987. Um, it's a PPG windshield, so it's been replaced in the past. First, I'm removing the cowl cover. Going across the bottom, you can see the clips are attached to the cowl with a tiny Phillips head screw. And being in Ohio, all mine are rusty, of course. With those removed, I can start to pry this up now. All right, that was pretty easy. Uh, I must have popped the passenger side off from the black clip when I was prying on the side trim. 
This one's a little stubborn here. Notice I'm prying on the clip itself, not the trim. I'd rather snap the clip than bend the trim. I've got the last black one on the end here. If I can get in there. There it goes. Popped right out. Here's the back. That's the last one I pulled off. It came with the trim. The white one was screwed on. This little one clipped to one of those two center black clips that stayed on the cowl. And then there was one. The top is tough because it's thinner than the rest. I've had good and bad luck on these. Look how easily this stuff bends. It's like they decided to use tin foil for the top piece. All right, good start. Got another one. There's another. Here's a better view. So far, so good. Let's go over here. That one seems really stubborn. Let's do the outer one first. Oh, I done goofed. I should have kept going across. It bent on that stuck clip when I popped the other side up. Look at that. It made a ripple in the chrome. I can try and bend it back into shape, but uh, that ripple is always going to be there. Well, you can't win them all. Learn from my mistakes, kids. Go all the way across. So, here's the clips that held on the top trim. Broken. Intact. Broken. Also broken, it's good, and broken. So that's how to remove the trim. Just don't mess up the top piece like I did by skipping around. Installing the trim is a whole separate process. All those broken clips need to be replaced when the windshield is installed using urethane sealant. So when I get around to replacing the windshield, I'll document that and share it as well. Hey, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage. Oh, by the way, a lot of viewers have asked about buying merchandise to help support the channel. I'm working on some shirt designs and I'll let you know when those are available. Stay tuned.